friends welcome to another session on geometry and uh, in this session we are going to discuss another attribute of the triangle and that is the exterior angle to a given triangle so you can see in this figure there's a triangle a b c right and uh, what i have done is i have just extended all the sides in both the directions right so you can see a b this is the line a b segment line segment a b and n and m represent the points on the extended line f right similarly b and c are joined as, as in the side of the triangle and b and c are extended both sides l and o are the points on that line right and a and what uh c a c right extended both sides k and j are the points on that line so that is what i have done in this case now uh, how do we define an exterior angle so you can see uh, alpha beta gamma delta and uh, epsilon and zeta there are these are six angles which you can see which all are they so m b c l b a k a b n a o sorry n a c and then o c a and j c b all these are exterior angles so how many there are six exterior angles now clearly these vertically opposite to the internal angle that is this is the internal angle is it b a c is the interior angle now vertically opposite to that internal angle that is this k a n is not considered as extra exterior angle so for exterior angle you must have one side of the triangle and uh, one extended side of uh, you know one uh, extended side of the other side of the triangle got it so one side has to be there so ab has to be there now if you're picking up this side then any of the extended sides that is ak is the extended side of ac so so the two arms will be uh, one of them will be the one of one side of the triangle and the other arm of that triangle has to be the extended arm of the same triangle but some other some other arm not the same previous arm i hope you got it so in case this is bc is the arm correct bc is one of the arms of the or one of the sides of the triangle now this if you are taking this then there are two possibilities one extended arm is ab which goes to m so if you take that as one of the arms of the angle so mb is one of the arm and bc is one of the arms so angle formed by them here in this case alpha is called exterior angle similarly lba where ab is the side of the triangle and bl is extended side cb right so these are two exterior angles now clearly lbm is not an exterior why because the uh, either of the two or both of the two are not having uh, or not any of the sides of the triangle right so neither bl nor bm so bl nor bm is the side of the triangle so hence this angle will not be counted as an exterior angle to the given triangle abc got it so once again exterior angle of any given triangle will be nothing but the angle formed by one of the sides of the triangle and one uh, extended side of any of the other two sides right so don't count this one so this one is counted for the exterior angle then the other arm of that exterior angle will be the extended arm of the other side of the triangle that is bc extended so gives you co is one of the arm and ab or sorry ac is the other arm so aco becomes the exterior angle now you can also uh, see that uh, the two pairs of exterior angle are equal and rightly so because they are pair of vertically opposite angles so they have to be equal so in a nutshell we can say that in a triangle there are three pairs of exterior angles right three pairs of equal exterior angles so alpha beta is one pair and then uh, this epsilon and zeta is another pair 129.89 degrees here in this case and delta and gamma are another pair so six pairs or sorry three pairs or six exterior angles are possible in a triangle now i will just try to move this point b and show you that uh, it is very much 
valid for any case so see i'm i'm changing the location of b so in any case there are three or you're getting three pairs and three pairs of exterior angle or six exterior angle right can you see that guys so you will get always three pairs of exterior angle and in every case uh, the three pairs are equal in every case the opposite pairs you know they are equal so whether it is a b or c whichever i extend wherever i take you will always get three equal pairs of exterior angles i hope you understood the concept of exterior angles now we will be studying uh, some theorems related to exterior angles of 